So, what if climbing the corporate ladder was a video game? Hi everybody, welcome to this episode of IGN Deconstructed. Today, we're going to deconstruct The Company Man by Forest Studio. If some of you are missing out on the yuppie experience in your job, well, this game can kind of fill that in. In The Company Man, you'll be climbing the floors of the Good Water Company, this massive conglomerate with a giant office tower, on your quest to become CEO. Now, while it may be a side-scrolling adventure, just like the corporate world, The Company Man is not for the faint of heart. There's a lot of challenges that you're gonna have to go through in your quest to become CEO. In this game, you play as Jim a fresh graduate and a recent hire of the Good Water Company. After being demoted on his very first day, Jim has to go all the way back down the corporate ladder and climb up in his dream to become the CEO someday. Well, someday means seven levels in this case, but you know, we all have different career trajectories, right? So from the get-go, the company man goes all in with its wacky world building. It may be a corporate world, but it's still very cartoony in that sense, which is really cool. This is all brought to life by its vibrant art style, and it has really crisp animations as well for each of the characters and Jim himself. And at the same time, when you speak with NPCs, you have kind of like a Banjo-Kazooie Animal Crossing kind of dialogue going on you know you know how like the characters is kind of go yeah stuff like that it's just sounds they don't actually say the dialogue so that really adds a lot of charm to this wacky corporate world you know so in a typical platformer you have like each world be based on like a forest the ice level the fire level stuff like that the water level but in the company man they kind of flip this around with their whole corporate aesthetic so since you're climbing the levels of the good water company each level is a part of the organization so one level you'll be into research and development the next level you'll be in accounting you know and it is really cool it's not just a plain old office you know because accounting's very cold so it's like a cold ice level so it does have your typical fire ice level themes that you might find in platformers but with an office twist as we've mentioned it's a side-scrolling action platformer unlike other platforming heroes like mario or sonic jim doesn't just bounce on his enemies instead he uses a keyboard like a like a literal keyboard like what you do at work he uses that to kind of slash his way up the corporate ladder all kinds of managers executives and interns anybody who stands in his way so it's pretty simple you run from left to right there's a lot of platforming challenges to go through you know like elevators and spinning saw blades and stuff like that for you to evade you gotta jump across them with your keyboard you can do melee combos and on top of that you also have a projectile attack where you just shoot emails which is really handy for far away enemies so all in all the game kind of feels like a mix between zero sections in Mega Man X4 though without the wall climbing it's just full on melee and long range attack Attacks. and the franticness kind of reminds us of Rayman Legends and the controls very very quick and snappy you know you're gonna love playing as Jim and just like any good platformer the company man has a hub world in between levels you can go to the office lobby which you know really makes sense right this is where you can upgrade Jim's abilities whether it's stronger attacks or to make him faster stuff like that and the cool part is you get it at the lobby cafe and all the beans there are named after like Malaysian states so that's the Sabah beans, Sarawak beans which is really a really nice nod to where Forest Studio is from so despite the game having a pretty simple setup, right? You have your melee, you got your long range, you can jump. The steady stream of upgrades really makes it different. Every time you jump into a new level with an upgrade, you definitely feel stronger. But the main key to like defeating all the bosses that you'll find in the game, all these bosses you'll find at the end of each level. The main key is to really find out their patterns and kind of get used to their patterns. It's very Mega Man-esque, which is really cool. Trial and error is the key. Just like climbing the corporate ladder and being a yuppie. Am I right? No? I don't know. I'm not a yuppie. Alright, so needless to say, this game is beautiful. I mean, it really looks like like a cartoon that you can play. Yeah, which really elevates its presentation and, and the world of this game. And truly, it makes it a must-play for long-time platformer fans. 
Though one thing that could be improved when it comes to animations is that enemy windups can be a little quick. So when the animation is a little too quick, doesn't give you enough reaction time to kind of avoid or plan out your attack. So that might be a little bit hard to kind of get used to. Though they are patching things up in the game. Things are getting better, but yeah. Just know that the timing of enemy attacks and stuff can be a little wonky. Now, while the main action of the game, you know, jumping, slashing, shooting emails, those are all quick and snappy, what kind of drags the game down just a tiny bit is that there are no power-ups, there are no collectibles, there are no added objectives besides just beating the level and defeating the boss. So in that regards, it can be a little shallow if you're looking for something a little more substantial, especially after playing games like Hollow Knight and stuff, you know? This is a much more straightforward platforming adventure than what modern platformers kind of strive towards these days. Overall, The Company Man is a solid platforming challenge with a charming story on corporate greed and yuppie culture, you know? In terms of its charm and the character it kind of exudes, it's up there with the likes of No Straight Roads as one of the best games to come out of Malaysia in like the past two years or so. So if you think this game is right up your alley, check it out on Steam. We definitely recommend it. This has been Dale for IGN Deconstructed. I'll catch you guys next time.